Read and open for amendment at any point. I now recognize the gentlewoman from North Carolina, Ms. Ross, to speak on the underlying bill. Thank you, Chairman Lucas and Ranking Member Lofgren for holding today's markup and for working with me and uh, Congressman Obernolte to bring this bill before the committee. I want to thank Congressman Obernolte and, and Congressman Beyer for their partnership on this important bill. I also want to thank Senators Warner and Tillis for their leadership, which means we've got friends on the Senate and may become law. Um, the AI Incident and Secure Enhancement Act seeks to tackle two core security challenges related to the advancement of artificial intelligence, vulnerability management and incident tracking. Regarding vulnerability management, we already have in place a rich ecosystem of private sector actors, standards organizations, and government activities that facilitate transparency and vulnerability management for all types of software, including AI systems. NIST operates the National Vulnerability Database, an authoritative data set that um, organiza organizations across the world use to make sure they're patching their vulnerabilities. This bill would direct NIST to update definitions and processes for the NVD to ensure that they're keeping up with the rapid development of AI. It also directs NIST to engage with private sector with the private tech sector and um, assist in setting standards and guidance for technical vulnerability management processes related to AI systems. I want to acknowledge the significant funding and scaling challenges that NIST has with the um, NVD. And as the number of digital systems in the world have increased, so too have the number of discovered vulnerabilities. Confronted with a shrinking budget and increased responsibilities related to this program, NIST was forced to temporarily pause its work processing these vulnerabilities earlier this year. The agency is now catching up and seeking to figure out a plan to scale its activities in the coming years. My colleagues and I on this committee are actively exploring solutions to help NIST address this problem and get the money. The second main challenge to this bill seeks to address incident tracking. Understandably, there's a lot of attention being paid to the potential risks and harms of artificial intelligence. As systems become more capable and integrated into sectors and use cases, especially safety critical systems, we need a process to better understand when things fail and when AI systems are vulnerable. The bill will direct NIST to start that process by bringing together stakeholders from industry, the federal government, and experts in the AI and cybersecurity communities to study this problem. The convening will seek to advance, advance common definitions for substantial AI incidents and support the development of norms and standards around when we should be reporting and documenting them. It would have NIST report to Congress on its findings. This bill is a concrete step that Congress can take now to better understand and advance safe and secure AI systems in the coming years. I urge my colleagues to join me in supporting this bipartisan bill, and I yield back.